Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be doing an empties video. I got all these empties in my nice cute Morrison's tomato bag. Tomato? I've got an American tomato bag. But if you don't know what empties is, it's just products I've used up. I'm going to take them all out. Oh my god. I didn't even realise. Okay, first of all I'm going to start with makeup item. Okay, are you done? First thing is the Collection Last Perfection Concealer. Um, I don't actually like these anymore because I found my naked skin concealer and that is like this one's so old it's been rubbed off and this one I've recently used up actually I think there's still there's like a tiny tiny bit left but this is gone this one was gone long ago it's good but it just creases too bad and it shows all like the tiny little dots on my under my eyes and I'm like well I've got dots but oh well <coughs> this the L'Oreal True Match foundation this is a good foundation it's probably my third favorite but I had this like thing at the start of the year where I had dry skin and I've always had oily skin, always. But it's just I was going a bit dry like the first four months of the year. So I found a true match and this was my saviour. I loved it. Like honestly, this was so good. Is there still water in it? Yeah, still water in it. Where I washed it out. <laughs> Next we have the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Razor. As I have oily skin, don't like this anymore because it makes you feel oily. Because I wanted to be oily when I had dry skin. Oh, it doesn't smell very nice. It feels very greasy, but it does make it so it makes your makeup last longer. Actually, I'll probably have a little bit left, don't I? Yeah. No, no, nothing's coming out. Yeah. The next thing is the Rimmel Clear Complexion Powder. Oh my god, it was the one that I actually wanted to show. It was one on the floor. The Rimmel Clear Complexion Powder. Obviously, I didn't actually use all of this up. Like I wasn't like get that little last bit out because I just bought another one when I started hitting pan because I, I don't like it I like having a fresh one this powder is really really good but I wouldn't say good for oily skin just dry skin because it's not too matte but now I like to have matte skin look I've got loads of, this is like three pound I don't know um next I have this that literally is a candle stuck to me next is the mac a fix plus a mini version now this is my first time i tried it out ow i have full size in my drawer but it's like got that much left in it so i need to buy another one and yeah this is i thought it was empty okay that's gone all over my no that's not working is it this is the MAC Prime, Prime, right, I spray this on before my face, before my face, before my makeup, after makeup, whilst I'm doing my makeup. Just because I love it, it's amazing, but it's so dear. And you run out, I go through like a big one once a month, and that's like 80. Okay. That went in the bin, that actually went in the bin. Oh my god, why is there so many of the same product? God, I don't know from that much, do I? The Garnier Micellar Water. Like, this is the best, honestly. I have two little mini... I've used up way more than this in my lifetime. It's just I've only started collecting them uh, since the beginning of the year. This is the Garnier Micellar Water. I use this to take off my eye makeup. And I have sensitive eyes. Right, it is just so amazing. And this is the medium size. Small size and large size. It's just it's so good for sens sensitive eyes. And it's so cheap. I think... The big bottle's only seven pound. Lasts about two months. How good is that? It's just, I think that's just amazing. Try getting the bin again. Okay, maybe not. Next is the Nivea Soft Fleshingly Soft Moisturising Cream with Jo with Jojo oil, Jojo and Vitamin E. This is so good for dry skin. I don't have dry skin. I don't even moisturise anymore. I'm that oily. I don't even moisturise. Oh my god, I'm going to need to get another one of these. Oh, it smells so nice. Wow. I'm going to just need some moisturise my face anyway. Oh, there's a little bit in there. It's like I just come out of a bush. And next thing is um, a few... Body Shop have to do my favourite shower gels of all time. I love all the smells, mainly. First of all, I have the Body Shop... Oh, there's a bit left in there. The Body Shop Vineyard Peach Shower Gel. This is my all-time favourite scent. All time, all time. I've been through this peach one probably about... I've had gone through about four bottles of these. Oh, it's just amazing. This scent is amazing. Then I have... 
I just put like my full out from my last video. Yesterday's video. Then I have two of the Christmas ones. Um, the Body Shop Frosty Cranberry Shower Gel and the Too Faced. Too Faced? Go on then, Gerard, with your Body Shop Shower Gels. The Body Shop, it's because I just said to I'm looking at that Too Faced palette. Frosty Cranberry Shower Gel and the Glazed Apple Shower Gel. Mm, that one smells a bit like sick, but it's nice. Nice sick. Oh, that one's, they're just both really nice. That one, it, it kind of smells like sick though. They're going to have to move because that's going to really annoy me. The Century Spa, Century Spa are my second favourite skin, like, body care brand. Body care, right. The Gentle Polish Body Scrub. Oh my God, what's the time? Because my video needs to pop up by five and I've got to edit it. Um, a natural scrub that's so gentle you can use it every day to leave skin cleansed, radiant and refined. I don't actually know why I use this up. Oh yes, it's got my fake tan on. Next is this L'Oreal. Goodbye then, the lid's gone. Um, L'Oreal Mythic Oil Hair Mask, but I used it as conditioner because I like to really condition. This smells gorgeous. I, don't, I was going to have the matching shampoo. I just have the shampoo that goes with it. And my last thing is a shampoo. This I love this shampoo. This is the L'Oreal. Pa Do you know what L'Oreal? Hands down, best skincare. Best make, um, drugstore makeup and best body, like hair care. Like, hands down. Honestly, and their skincare is amazing. It's the LV. LV? LV. Extraordinary Crack Clay. Oh, this is not a shampoo, it's a conditioner, but same thing. But it's not, is it though? And this is for oily roots and dry ends, and that is what I have oily roots and dry ends. Yeah, it just smells great. It's so replenishing. Oh, one more thing. Second degree, they also do the best body care. Um, the Writer's Butter Body Moisturiser, but their smells, are, ugh, I think it's gone off because it's not what it smelled, smelled like before. I've really nearly gone through another one of these. Ugh. Oh, that doesn't smell very nice. But their Smoothie Star and their Citrus one, oh, they don't smell great at all. A lot of people like them, but I'm weird with my smells. Look at that nose highlight. That's not right. This is amazing. Feels so moisturised. I think, yeah, I've gone nearly gone through my second bottle. Stop opening that up and closing it. That's really annoying. Goodbye. Is that everything? That is, oh, I knew I had enough bottle. I had another bottle of that massive, massive little water. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I love you. Don't know why I did that. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, that was cute.